<laughs> Where am I? You just entered the dandy funhouse. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the dandy funhouse, the home of your favorite frivolities. I'm your host, du jour, Neil Dandy, and today we're going to take a deep dive into a game that's played almost everywhere at picnics, potlucks, scout meets, company barbecues, and backyards around the world. Some folks know this game as beanbag toss, but here in the South, in the good old U.S. of A. where I live, Murfreesboro, Tennessee to be exact, the game I'm talking about goes by one name, and one name only cornhole. Now, I know there are some of you out there rolling your eyes right now because cornhole is such a simple and basic staple of American yard games and everyone thinks they know how to play it. Just set up a couple boards on the ground with holes cut out, place them about uh, 20 feet apart or so, and try to throw bean bags through the holes, right? Well, yeah, but there's a whole lot more to it than that. Did you know that there are official cornhole rules as set forth by the official governing body of cornhole, otherwise known as the American Cornhole Association? Well, today, we're going to break out our own cornhole game, set it up per the regulations set forth by the ACA, and show you how to play by the proper tournament accepted rules. And for this, we're going to refer to the ACA's website at playcornhole.org, which will dictate the proper dimensions and measurements for how far apart to place the boards and how to legally position players. Now, according to the American Cornhole Association mandates, a cornhole court shall be a level rectangular area 8 to 10 feet wide and a minimum of 40 to 45 feet long. The court should consist of two cornhole boards, designated pitcher boxes, and foul lines. Let's talk about the pitcher's box, shall we? Now, the pitcher's box, where players must stand as they throw their bean bags, shall be rectangular, four foot by three foot at each end of the court, parallel with and on both sides of the board. Players must not step outside of the pitcher's box while pitching the cornhole bag. There are also foul lines, two sets to be exact, which determine whether a tossed bag is considered a foul or not, one for adults and one for kids 12 and under. The adult foul line is parallel to the front of the opposite board, and the junior foul line is still the front of the opposite board, but they are allowed to stand 12 to 15 feet in front of their own board while pitching. Now let's have a look at the boards themselves. Cornhole boards need to be between 47 and a half to 48 inches in length to 23 and a half to 24 inches wide. If they're to be used in an ACA sanctioned tournament, they will have to be made of smooth plywood, at least a half inch thickness. Plastic and metal boards cause significant variance in the way the bags slide and react as opposed to wood and therefore may not be used in ACA sanctioned tournaments. The holes are 6 inches in diameter, located 9 inches from the top and 12 inches from the sides of the board edges. The board top shall be 3 to 4 inches from the bottom to the top. The back of the board shall be approximately 12 inches from the ground to the highest point of the deck. The board surfaces must be smooth without blemish, which may disrupt or distort play. It is recommended that the surface be painted or varnished as such that the bags can slide, but not so slippery as to allow bags to reverse slide back down the front of the board after landing. As you can see, in order to play the game correctly, there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. There are even regulations for the bags themselves. They must be constructed of two durable fabric squares, usually canvas, six and a quarter inch, with a quarter inch stitch seam on all four sides filled with two cups of feed corn. Once sewn shut, a finished bag should be six inches square and weigh between 14 to 16 ounces. 
Plastic pellets may be used in lieu of feed corn if constructing an all-weather bag, but who the heck wants to throw cornhole bags that ain't got no feed corn in them? All right, now it's time to address the proper rules of gameplay. Hmm, for simplicity's sake, we're only gonna go over the rules for singles play. That's one on one. If you would like the official rules for doubles and larger team play, please visit the ACA's website for that. And you can go there and you can download PDF files, regulations to your heart's content. Both players stay in their designated lane for the whole game. Players start the game at the headboard and will alternate pitching bags until each player has pitched all four of his or her bags. Players then walk to the end of their lane to the other court, take score, and resume pitching back to the other board. The top of an inning is completed when the first player pitches all four bags. The bottom of the inning is completed when the remaining player pitches all four bags. Scoring. Now the approved method of scoring for the sport of cornhole is cancellation scoring. In cancellation scoring, the points of one player cancel out the points of their opponent. Using this method, only one player or team can score in each inning, meaning that if I score five points in an inning and my opponent only scores three, then their three is subtracted from my five and I become the winner of two points for that inning. Bag in the count, or a woody. Any bag which comes to rest anywhere on top of the board is called a woody. Each one of those is worth one point. Bag in the hole or a corn hole. Any bag which is thrown through the hole or knocked through the hole by another bag is called a corn hole. Each of those is worth three points. Now foul bags refers to any bag that has not been determined as bag in the count or bag in the hole or was designated as a foul bag as the result of rules violation. And we'll go over the ways in which a foul can be called here in just a moment. First I want to address player pitching rotation. The player or team who scored in the preceding inning has the honor of pitching first in the next inning. If neither player or team scores, the player or team who pitched first in the preceding frame shall retain first pitch in the next frame. Position of the players during pitching. The pitcher must be within the pitcher's box or behind the foul line in the case of a junior player at the time of bag release. A player must pitch all four bags from their designated pitcher's box. Players must pitch the bag with an underhanded release. Now let's go ahead and talk about foul bag rule violations. The following are rule violations that must be spotted and called by a player or assigned judge. The penalty is to declare the bag a foul, which requires the bags to be removed from the court prior to resuming play. Any bag pitched when the player has made contact with or crossed over the foul line. Any bag pitched when the player has started or stepped completely outside the pitcher's box before the bag is released. Any bag not delivered within the 20 second time limit, so there's a shot clock. A bag pitched from a different pitcher's box than the first bag. Any bag that contacted the ground before coming to rest on the board. Any bag that struck a previously defined object such as a tree, limb, wire, indoor court ceiling or like that. Or any bag removed from the board before scoring has been agreed upon for that bag. The offending team who touches the bags, in that case forfeits all remaining bags and tallies the score of just the bags thrown before the foul was reported. The non-offending team tallies 12 points as if they had thrown four cornholes during the inning. A bag that leaves a player's hand once the final forward swing of the delivery process has started shall count as a pitched bag. A bag that is accidentally dropped by a player before the final forward swing has started shall not be considered foul and may be picked up and pitched. Protest. 
If a player decides to make a protest, the protest shall be made to the judge or official at the time the problem occurs. The judge shall make the final ruling on all protests. Determining winners, uh, the traditional 21. Okay, the game shall be played to the predetermined number of 21 points. The first player or team to reach or exceed that amount at the conclusion of an inning is the winner. And that's the right way to play cornhole. Okay, now who wants to play cornhole by the regulations? Anybody? Hello? Hey, cornhead, how about we just throw the bags and have fun? Okay, but you wear the corn hat. Fine. Really? I'd like to give a very special thank you to the American Cornhole Association for their guidelines. Be sure to give their website a visit at playcornhole.org for downloadable rules and play court templates, as well as to see where tournaments are being held in your area. You can even add your own tournaments to their calendar. They also have an online shop for purchasing your own boards and bags and can even make custom orders if you're like me and have always dreamed of having your dog's face on a cornhole board. Well, that's gonna be all for now, folks. Thanks for hanging with us here at the Dandy Funhouse. Don't forget that you can find various ways to contribute to the production of the Dandy Funhouse via contribution links in the show notes, description, or comments, depending on how you're frivolitizing with us today. And don't forget to make every day fun and dandy. I'm not bad. If you've enjoyed this episode of the Dandy Funhouse and wish to support future productions, look for the Funhouse supporter links in the description, comments, or show notes to contribute via your favorite method. Or just visit dandyfunhouse.com. Supporters gain access to exclusive bonus material for the episode they are contributing to, and Funhouse Super supporters get special prizes. Thank you for being a part of the Dandy Funhouse, where everything is always fun and dandy. <laughs> Hey, thanks very much, Elvis. Ladies and gentlemen, Corny Corn here, the comic cob. You know, I haven't always been this well adjusted. That's right, I spent some time in the can. I was arrested for stalking. Hey, she looked like the type who liked her men husky. I didn't know she was gonna call the cobs. In jail, they gave me a cornrow hairdo. I'll pop it. Before that, I served in the army. I made it all the way to Colonel. Oh shucks, people. I've got great hearing, too. What, you surprised? I'm all ears. Hey, you've been great. Thanks for buttering me up. I'm Corny Corn, the comic cop. He's Corny Corn, the comic cop.